Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 13 box fair catch football mixer. We finally did it. Um, featuring a box of 2020 flawless collegiate football, a six box case of 2021 gold rush autograph mini helmets, a specialty edition, two boxes of gold standard. Now we we don't have any more 2015, I think it was a typo. We do have 22 box 2016 signature series, which is actually priced a little bit higher than that. So we got that. And then two boxes of 2021 Hit Parade autographed jerseys. Now for the collegiate stuff, the mini helmets and the uh, and the jerseys, our college rules apply, our non-pro uniform rules apply, which means um, for stuff that's, that doesn't have a checklist or whatever, like the jerseys and the helmets and whatnot, if they're in their college gear, if they're active, it'll go to the team they're currently on. If they're not active, they'll go to the team, right, if they're retired, they'll go to the team that they played for the longest, according to ProFootballReference.com, and we'll use those as, as tiebreakers as well. Games, game started, so on and so forth. All right. With that being said, very big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Looks like Joseph has last bought Mojo. And congrats again to the people who won spots in those prestige filler packs that we were doing from 22 through 25. Thank you. All 32 teams are in. All cards ship. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Six and a two, eight times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Anthony down to Chris. And then six and a two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got Washington all the way down to the Los Angeles Chargers. Now think about the different years and the products in here and trade at your own risk. Anthony with the Washington football team, George with the Bills, Michael with the Colts, Aaron with the Steelers, Chris with the Falcons, Ryan with the Giants, Elliot with the Ravens, Sean O with the Browns, Chris with the Jags, Daniel with the Chiefs, Sean with the Cowboys, Mark with the Rams, Aaron with the Buccaneers, Sean with the Broncos, Ryan with the Dolphins, Chris with the Saints and the Niners, Michael with the Bengals, Chris with the Vikings, PJ with the Texans and Seahawks, Oliver Soria with the Lions, Joseph uh, Cardinals, Isaac Titans, Ryan with the Packers, Jose with the uh, Patriots, Lucas with the Eagles, PJ with my Raiders and the Bears, Daniel Hayes with the Jets, Ryan with the Panthers, and Chris Maxwell with the Los Angeles Chargers. Let's alphabetize by team. We'll pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There was a lot of trade chatter, and we got a deal done. Two deals were done. So here's the first deal here, Rams for Saints. So Chris is out of the Saints spot and into the Rams spot here. Put a T there for trade. And Mark is now in the uh, Saints spot. And Chris Maxwell trading again. Get, is out of the Viking spot and ha and got his Jets. And Daniel Hayes is, now has the Viking spot right there. Put a lowercase t next to there so we know that they were part of a trade. We close the trade window. Let's print. Let's rip. All right, why don't we start with, uh, let's go back in time a little bit. So originally we had, we had priced out the break for 2015. We didn't have any 2015, I couldn't find any. We thought we had an extra case, we did not. But we, I was able to manage to find two 2016 boxes right there, which are actually a little bit more expensive than the 2015 boxes. So, um, so you actually get a better value for whatever price you paid.
Good luck. Chris Maxwell saying, I never understand why folks are afraid to trade. Try for something you love. If the other person hits, you made someone's day, win-win. We need uh, we need more more people with Chris Maxwell's attitude. All right. First one out of the gate, we've got Keith Marshall, Redskins. That's going to go to Anthony. Got randomized the Washington football team. And we've got Elusive Inc. That is Mason Crosby, Green Bay Packers, Ryan Heinz. We have Isaiah Burst, 12 out of 25. San Diego Chargers back in 2016. But this will, of course, go to uh, the Los Angeles Chargers. That'll be Chris Maxwell. I think some of you spotted that redemption there. Yeah, the older products, there is a risk of these expired redemptions. Yeah, that expired already, but that's uh, Demarcus Robinson, Tyreek Hill. Signature pairs, dual auto for Daniel Hayes and the Chiefs. So Daniel, I'm pretty sure you can just continue going through the process, the redemption process, and if they don't have it available, they'll generally offer you uh, some amount of points in return. So we'll still ship that to you. Hopefully they still have it, that's not a bad duo. All right, and the second box. All right, I'm only doing two boxes of this, right? Yeah, two boxes of 2016 Sig Series. All right, we got a Keith Marshall again. For Anthony. Yeah, the if if it's points better than nothing, they'll those points people will sell though, or will, will buy. There's Moritz Borger, jersey and autograph for Minnesota. Daniel Hayes, drawing first blood in that trade. The first uh, the first German-born player to be drafted in the NFL. Little, little trivia there. Next is another redemption. The autograph is uh, Devontae Booker, rookie, jersey, and autograph. Sean O with the Denver Broncos. And the redemption is Eric Weddle, signature series gold. Eric Weddle, a ch charger? <laughs> oh, I'm blanking on, on Eric Weddle. No, he's a Raven. I don't know what that signature series gold is numbered to, but... Signature series. No, I can't spot that right now, but that'll go to the uh, go to the Ravens. That'll be for Elliot with the Baltimore Ravens. All right, same drill here. Elliot, if you uh, reach out to Panini or just even go through that redemption process, you should be able to either get the actual card itself or they'll give you an option where they'll say, hey, we don't have it. We'll give, we'll give you some points instead.
All right, now let's move into 2019 Gold Standard football. 2019 Gold Standard. Good luck. Oh, yeah, that might be a tough one, Chris. R.I.P. Should be a just a base card on the bottom here. All right. So behind Mitch Wisnowski is Joe Mixon to 99. That'll be for Michael P and the Bengals. Gold Rush relic Minka Fitzpatrick for the Dolphins to 199. It'll be for Ryan Heinz and the Dolphins. We got Larry Fitzgerald. Nice three color jersey there to 25. Gold Rush Relic heading out to Joseph and the Arizona Football Cardinals. There's Miles Boykin, newly minted relic. 199. That'll be for Elliot and the Ravens. We got Josh Oliver, Golden Rookies autograph. 79 out of 199. Jaguars, Chris Maxwell. And we got another Raven, jersey and autograph, Hollywood Brown, 24 out of 99 on that Marquise Brown. Elliot with the Ravens. And 38 out of 49, we got Mitch Wisnowski. For the Niners, and that's gonna be for Chris. One more 2019 box. So behind Drew Sample, who's going to help us out with this pack, is John Elway to 99 for Denver. Sean. Damian Harris, newly minted relic to 199. Patriots, Jose. Yeah, the redemption, whether they get to you or not, like, yeah, majority of the time, it really is athlete dependent. Chris Coe's right. Some guys just... Have a dinner table filled with cards they haven't signed yet. And some guys are pretty uh, pretty on top of it. It's Marshawn Lynch, Raiders edition, 134 out of 199. That'll be for PJ and the Raiders. Hall of Gold Threads, Steve Young, 85 out of 149. Out of 149, and that's Chris Maxwell with the 49ers. There's Jarrett Stidham, NFL Shield and Autograph, one of one. Jose with the Patriots. He bought into a filler pack, won a spot, got randomized the Patriots, and gets an NFL Shield and Autograph, one of one. Jose, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. And the last one here is Steve Largent. Good as gold, jersey, and autograph to 49. Oh, maybe Jared Sidham gets a chance somewhere. It's a fresh start somewhere. Blows people away. And there's Hall of Famer Steve Largent for the Seahawks. That's going to be for PJ. And there's the Drew Sample to 49. 
Chris was like, I'm showing my wife that monster home run hitters booklet I pulled a few years ago. And her take was, Mrs. Maxwell was like, why is that not a meme? Could be. I don't know. I don't know if Jaspies is at that level yet. Someday. All right. Now remember, going by our no checklist rules for this jersey. A authentic, officially licensed, officially licensed jersey? I think it is. All right. Uh, we'll do a lightning round of Who Am I? Because we still have a lot of boxes to go. So I'll make this really easy. But for bragging rights, put on your thinking caps. 25 uh, year old wide receiver, 6 foot 210 out of Ohio State, drafted in the third round in 2019. Active, obviously. PFWA all rookie team. Um, and a career 145 receptions, 2,037 receiving yards, and 11 touchdowns in my career. With a with a decent quarterback, I could be pretty uh, could be a pretty dynamic player. Who am I? Went to uh, Cathedral High School in Indianapolis. And won the Indiana Mr. Football Award in 2013. And then went to Ohio State between 2015 and 2018. Drafted in 2019 in the third round. Who am I? Jim Murray got it. Yep, Terry McLaurin. Chris Lambros, too. Nice. So this is cool because it's the official Nike jersey. There's his autograph right there. There's the McLaurin. It's worth taking a look because this has all the officially, 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 officially li licensed stuff. Nice. Got the... Uh, the NFL Shield, the Nike tags, the retail tags on here. Has, all, has the Beckett sticker and everything. Really nice. So that's Anthony with the uh, Redskins, with the Washington football team. And so after, at the end of this break, I'll get this folded up really nicely before it gets shipped out. There you go, on the seven in the fair catch mixer. It could really be a, a lot of highlight moments for that guy. All right, so we're just doing two of these jerseys, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, two of these jerseys. All right, one more. And then we'll go through the mini helmets and then we'll uh, we'll see what's inside that flawless. All right, this is a custom jersey, so we don't have to pull this one out. I think I see the color of the team already. Really? All right, interesting.
Yeah, all right, yeah, okay. Who am I? I'm a retired quarterback. Played for two teams my entire career. A four-time Super Bowl champion, three-time Super Bowl MVP, two-time NFL Most Valuable Player, Comeback Player of the Year Award winner, a Hall of Famer, 40,551 passing yards, 273 touchdowns to 139 interceptions. Uh, played for two teams. I already said that. Two teams my entire career. Went to Notre Dame. Drafted in 1979 in the third round with the 82nd pick. This is uh, this is my uniform. It's not the player that drafted me. Also, 62205. I guess I thought... I guess he is 62205. I thought, thought he was bigger for some reason. No, Jim Murray got it again, and Cameron Johns. It's Joe Montana, and it's in his Kansas City gear. I was, I was just double-checking to me. It's like, yeah, he was number 19, Kansas City. There's his autograph. And in those uh, Kansas City colors. It's got a nice autograph. It's a custom jersey, so we're going to leave this nicely folded. It doesn't have the officially all the officially licensed stuff and whatnot. Uh, let's see who has the Chiefs. That's going to be Daniel Hayes and the Kansas City Chiefs. All right, so that's in the fair catch mixer. I know. Well, that's why my eyebrows kind of went up, and I was just like, "Wait a second. I was like, "Ah, oh, they, they're gonna they're gonna throw Chiefs edition of Montana at you, huh?" All right. So apologies to well, apologies to you, Chris Maxwell and the Niners. All right, mini helmet time. So these are, officially, these are the 2021 Gold Rush Autograph Mini Helmet Specialty Edition Series 3 six-box case. Now, again, the same, we have we didn't encounter them in the jerseys, but the same uh, non-pro uniform rules apply. The no checklist rule applies here. So if they're in their college gear, if they're active, they'll go to the team they're currently on. And if they're retired, it'll go to the team they play for the longest. So in this case, if, if Joe Montana was here, in his Notre Dame helmet, right? It'll go to the Niners. He played for the Niners much longer. All right, so there are the boxes right there. You know what, I'm actually gonna put these over here on the back table. See all six boxes right here. All right, let's actually shift the camera up a little bit. Let's see what we have in here. Is there a name on here? Maybe on the bottom? I kind of don't want to reveal this. Uh... I'm going to turn off that camera up there for a second. Oh, OK. All right, who am I? This is a pretty good one. I feel like we don't see this guy's autograph too often. I'm a retired running back. Uh, was born in Texas, but I went to TCU. Played for two teams my entire career. Had 13,684 rushing yards. Uh, 4,772 receiving yards. 145 rushing touchdowns, 17 receiving touchdowns. I was a most valuable player. 
Um, Walter Payton, NFL Man of the Year Award winner, 2000 drafted fifth overall into the. Yeah, everyone's getting this right. Jim, Chris, Joey, Daniel, Bruce. Yep, Ladanian Tomlinson, Chris Maxwell, and the Chargers. And it's a pretty neat helmet too. So they, they got some wrapping over it, but you can see like that bright yellow, neon yellow autograph right there. On the on the mirrored helmet, you can see the Beckett card inside, and the uh, the Beckett sticker right there on the bottom. Nice. And that's from the Fair Catch Mixer. All right, next one. Right. Who am I? I'm an active linebacker in the NFL. Played for one team my entire career. Was born in Omaha, Nebraska. Omaha! And went to Clemson. And was drafted 8th overall in the 2020 NFL Draft. Was a PFWA all-rookie team, unanimous All-American when I was in college, ACC Defensive Player of the Year. In my NFL career, I uh, have line, uh, 54 tackles, a couple sacks, a couple pass deflections, interception, forced fumble, one fumble recovery thus far. 6'4", 238. Wow. Poop got it right away. And Steve. What gave it away? Did Clemson give it away, maybe? It's Isaiah Simmons. There you go. Steve and two LZs getting it, too. There you go. Isaiah Simmons on the matte black helmet. It looks pretty cool right there for the Arizona football Cardinals. There's the Beckett sticker and everything. So that is for... That's for uh, Joseph Osborne and the Arizona Football Cardinals, Last Spot Mojo. Yeah, the Clemson Park gave it away. Yeah, we got a lot of homes. I'm, I'm making these a little bit easier than I usually would, but... But thanks for playing, everybody. Who am I? <laughs> right. This is the guy that Sean Jaspi, and I remember this draft because Sean Jaspi was here. This is the guy that Sean Jaspi wanted uh, over Justin Herbert. My colleague Sean Jaspi is definitely singing a different tune today. <laughs> Right, FSU? No, no one likes him because he's smart, FSU. <laughs> he was angry. I remember him being actively angry at that pick. You know, I, Sean's a nice dude. He doesn't, he doesn't get angry too often. All right. Next NFLer. Who am I? I'm a wide receiver uh, out of Waxahachie, Texas, 5'11", 197 pounds, uh, went to TCU and was a late first-round pick in 2020. I was a Big 12 Offensive Freshman of the Year and a two-time second-team All-Big 12. In my career, 31 receptions, 396 receiving yards, 94 return yards, 26 rushing yards, two total touchdowns. 
Um, I feel like I've, I have some upside. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> How did Jim... Jim Murray, you're good at this. Jan Rayquard, he sucks. I'm rooting for him, Jim. I'm rooting for him because it'll be hashtag good for the hobby. All right, so on the matte black helmet, there's the green autograph right here. Which, which pops, which is pretty nice. There's Jalen Rago right there. Ah, Jim, Jim's an Eagle season ticket holder. There you go. Not using Google. His answer is too fast for Google. Chris Coe, you can't use Google. That, that, that goes against the spirit of the game. Justin Larson likes his upside, though, Jim. I don't know how the Eagles fans at work here, how, how they feel about, about him. Lucas Snow with the Eagles. Yeah, I feel like we really can't evaluate him yet without a, without some decent coaching, a decent team around him. Jalen Hurts with it. I don't know. I'm always I'm always optimistic about these guys because I want them to be hashtag good for the hobby. All right, next one. All right, who am I? I'm a retired linebacker, 6'2", 248, played for one team my entire career, was a national champion and a Heisman Trophy finalist in the mid-'80s, a two-time Butkus Award winner and a two-time unanimous All-American and a three-time All-Big Eight. And I was a first-round pick in the supplemental draft in the late-'80s. Went to high school in MacArthur, at MacArthur High School in Irving, Texas, and went to college at Oklahoma. That should give it away. Linebacker from the 80s out of Oklahoma. Heisman Trophy finalist. Come on. We know this guy. Um, there you go, Chris Maxwell, Tony C, Korf, has got it, the boss, Brian Bosworth, in a really cool looking, uh, in a really cool looking Seattle Seahawks helmet, a chrome alternate is what they're calling, there is a silver ink autograph right there, kind of hard to see through, there, there we go, that's a better angle. There's the Beckett card inside. Other authentication stickers right there. Seattle Seahawks is PJ from the Seattle Seahawks. There you go, PJ. All right, two more to go, and then the flawless collegiate briefcase. Camo on this helmet? That looks pretty cool. Who are you? All right, I know who you are. I am a retired wide receiver. I I was listed. I, I once stood. I don't know if he's the same height weight right now, but six foot one eighty eight. Uh, born in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Went to high school at Fort Lauderdale, Dillard. Went to college in Memphis and was a second round pick in the mid 90s. Played for two teams my entire career, a Super Bowl champ, a four-time pro bowler, and once an NFL receiving yards leader. And this and I have one team that retired my number. 
a career 1,024 receptions, 15,208 receiving yards, 91 receiving touchdowns, and a Hall of Famer. With those numbers, absolutely. No, not, not Randy Moss. Randy Moss, I don't think, I'm not good at college, but I don't, he did not go to Memphis. Not T.O. Torrey Holt, you're on the right track. With T with Torrey Holt. And went to Memphis. Yeah, and he was in West Virginia. I, Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Memphis. Second round pick in 1994. By the... R yeah, FSU got it. Sorry, I think FSU was saying that player, right? Chris Maxwell. and Yeah, FSU and Chris, Ma Chris Maxwell's got it. It's Isaac Bruce. This is a pretty cool helmet. Look at that. We got the, the, Ram the new Rams logo and then with some camo up in that. There's the Beckett card inside there. There's Isaac Bruce autograph and number inscription. Yeah, nice Isaac Bruce. And that's Chris Maxwell. And Chris got that in a trade. So he draws first blood in the trade, but we still have... Uh, another box and a briefcase to go. All right, final mini helmet, and then we'll close out with that flawless collegiate. Now you're welcome, Chris. Thanks for getting in. All right, who am I? Six foot, 247 pound running back. Kind of big for a running back, isn't it? Um, second round pick. Played for one team my entire career. A three time first team all ACC player, an ACC rookie of the year, and an ACC offensive rookie of the year, and an AP third team all American. 242 total rushing yards in my career. Just kind of getting my career started. Two rushing touchdowns, a couple of receptions for 21 receiving yards. Um, second round pick went to uh, was born in Baltimore, went to Lawrence Academy in Massachusetts, and went to Boston College. PJ is not allowed to answer this question. And I break cards on Instagram because he's one of our competitors now, I suppose. Who am I? Although I actually think he purchased some stuff from us before on the Instagram channel. So, maybe not so much of a competitor as a, as a colleague, perhaps. That's right, Jim Murray, Justin, Sean Jaspi's got it, A.J. Dillon. I feel like he's got some upside. Still pretty early, very early on in his career, but... But yeah, it's a good looking helmet too. There you go, AJ Dillon. All right, and that is for Ryan Heinz and the Green Bay Pack. <laughs> Does he? Oh, I'd probably do the same thing. All right, so maybe maybe AJ Dillon will be at the National in Chicago. He'll come visit us and say hi. All right, Ryan with Green Bay. All right, and last but not least is 2020 Panini Flawless Collegiate.
football. See what we got in here. So first of all, we're gonna. It's just a one. Just picking one briefcase right here. All right. So we have box A and box B. We'll go one, two, three for box A. Four, five, six for box B. I like that die right there. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll save this box for maybe another future mixer or something like that. All right, now again, there are no college rules, or there's no checklist, so we're going by our college rules on this one. All right, so thanks everybody. Yeah, it did. This mixer did take some time to fill, but I'm glad we I'm glad we ended up getting it done. Cause uh, we've been pulling some nice stuff here. So we'll do the the slider box first, then we'll do uh, left, right, and center. All right. First one out of the gate is going to be a train whistle. Actually, let's, let's see where he goes. All right, and four out of five from the Ohio State University. It's K. J. Hill. It almost looks like the. Some sort of anniversary patch, if I remember correctly. KJ Hill is a uh, seventh round pick, went to the Chargers. And we got a LSU quarterback. Dual relic, it's Joe Burrow, 7 out of 10. Uh, Chargers relic, that's going to go to Chris Maxwell. And the Joe Burrow goes to the Bengals, that goes to Michael P. We're on to Cincinnati. Our first autograph, who did he, I think he's retired. I'm, I know he's retired. But what team did he play for the longest? Okay, the team that I thought. The autograph is George's Garrison Hurst. Remember Garrison Hurst? Six out of 25. And the team that drafted him, he played for that team the longest five seasons with the San Francisco 49ers. That's going to go to Chris. Oh, now I know another old school guy here. I know that he played... 
for this particular team, in my head he's this team, but he also played for another team. He played for that team the longest. Okay. This is a 15 out of 15 wide receiver, Paul Warfield from Ohio State. Now my initial thought in my head is that he's a Miami Dolphin, but he played uh, for Cleveland for eight seasons. He only played for Miami for five seasons. Nice Paul Warfield for Cleveland. This is for you. Sean with the Browns. Sean O'Leary. I think this guy is still with this team. Yes. Dual relic and autograph. A terrapin. Right? I think Maryland are their terrapin, some kind of turtle. 23 out of 25, DJ Moore, who is uh, turned into a terrapin and then turned into a, uh, a panther, a big cat. That'll be for Ryan Heinz and Carolina. Ten out of twenty-five. We got another KJ Hill for the Chargers. Another charger for Chris Maxwell. Eight out of 15, this is a college coach. So we're gonna randomize that to one person to break. And it's Lincoln Riley. Oklahoma coach Lincoln Riley. So we'll randomize everybody's name, name on top. We'll get this autograph. And a train whistle, three out of five. Sony Michelle, two color, dual relic, and autograph. He's still with the, he's still with the Patriots, right? Yeah, still with the Patriots. Um, and Jose with the Pats. There you go, FSU. And out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. All right, now, the final three cards of our Fair Catch Mixer. Thanks, everybody, for getting involved. Let's see if we can go. I don't, I want to do the autograph last. I'm going to peek a little bit. Oh, there's some nice stuff in here. All right. We've got a Diamond Joey Bosa, 14 out of 20. Diamond Joey Bosa for Chris and the Chargers. Do the left side here. It's a Ruby Auto T Higgins. 420 for Michael P and the Bengals. Out of 420. I'm pretty high on this guy, I want to say. Hopefully, we'll hear Burroughs to Higgins all season long. He could really. Really smoke some defenders too. Alright, there you go, Michael P. and the Bengals. And the last one here. Is. 
Well, first of all, these are uh, the gems are naturally mine, not lab grown. That's what the small print says here. And the last one here is two color jersey and autograph, seven out of twenty. Former Alabama QB Tua Tungavailoa. Now he's in Miami. Ryan Heinz. Ryan Heinz won a spot in the filler. Got into the break. Got randomized the Miami Dolphins. And ends up with the Tua RPA in his college gear. There's Joey G. Roll Tide, he's saying. He's got an Alabama logo. In his chat bubble. His avatar. And the case is closed. On the Fair Catch Football Mixer. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Before we go, let's quickly randomize that link. And Ryan, I almost signed off right there. Let's quickly randomize that uh, Lincoln Riley autograph. So everyone's got a shot at it. Let's flip back to this list right here. So everyone from Joseph and the Cardinals down to Anthony and the Washington football team. There's the dice. There's the list. Let's roll it and randomize it. One and a three, four times. Name on top gets the Lincoln Riley autograph after four. One, two, three, and fourth and final time. Name on top, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. It's gonna be Chris Maxwell with a spot that he won with a last spot mojo spot wins the spot, gets randomized, whatever team that was. I think uh, it was the Rams. And ends up with the Lincoln Riley Auto. A nice break for you. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I appreciate everybody's patience. I know this took a minute or two to fill, but I think once we did it, once we got it done, once we did the break, I think it was pretty fun. So thanks for getting into the action. Thanks for your patience. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.